Today, we'll show you how to operate your NETS terminal. Here's how to change the paper roll. First, unhinge the clamshell on the back of the terminal. Next, ensure the paper roll faces upwards before dropping it in. Pull some paper out, then close the clamshell and tear off the excess. You are now ready to print receipts. Here's how to troubleshoot error messages on your NETS wired terminal. If a no dial tone message appears, the phone line may not be properly plugged in. Fix this by checking that the phone line is firmly plugged in to the correct port on your NETS terminal and also clip to the phone jack of your active phone point. You can verify the PABX setup by configuring the PABX code on the terminal if your active phone line is on a PABX system. First, press the yellow button to go to Merchant Function. Then, press the green button four times to go to PABX code. Finally, enter the PABX code and press the green button for the remaining screens. If your active phone line is a direct phone line, you should delete the PABX code instead before pressing the green button for the remaining screens. If you see a host connect fail message, the terminal may not be connected to the network. Check your connection using the signal bar. If you are connected, you will see at least one bar or a 3G icon. If not, turn off and turn on your terminal. Now that you know how to operate your NETS terminal, settling payments is a breeze. For further assistance, please call our customer service hotline at 6274-1212.